Hey everybody, Monty LSV6 here. Today I want to give you guys a tutorial video on uh, some of the questions that have been asked on my how to use a Chromebook video. So today's topic or today's tutorial is going to be how to view pictures from a camera. So and here's how we're going to do so. So mostly when you take pictures from a camera, you know, odds are you're going to have one of these in there. That is a SD card. So whether it's going to be mini or something like this that comes with an adapter uh, if you have the mini one. So what you're going to do here, uh, it's going to be fairly simple, it's going to be a short video, is take that SD card and put it right here in this slot. It's designated SD right there. Okay. And I'll even do it. So that way the, you know, the design and the manufacturer and the logo of the card is going to be facing up. And the prongs down here are going to be facing down. These gold plates. So you're just going to slide it in here like that. Sorry, it's hard to do it one-handed. <laughs> so then you just push it in. Make sure it's nice and snug in there. And then you're going to go to down here. File browser. Well, it's actually, actually it's going to say files, okay? So you're going to click on that. And if it's not down here in the taskbar, you're going to come over here, hit apps. And then it's going to be it's going to be somewhere in the app drawer. I have a lot of apps on mine, so it's going to be di located differently. So then you just click on files. And then this window will pop up. Now over here, it'll say SD card, which is that's what it is. If it's named something else, like, you know, so-and-so's camera or so-and-so's pictures or what have you that's what it's going to be called so then you just click on that go to dcim that's uh mainly what cameras are uh categorized as open that up uh you're going to go to 100 image or uh whatever the other folder is called besides dcim sometimes it might be in dcim you just got to look around for it so then you double click on that and then here's all your photos. So in the meantime, uh, while you're browsing through all the photos, if you see something that you like, you can either share it um, via email, Facebook, Google+, um, you know, things of that nature. And when you click on one, and down here it'll give you a little preview of uh, what it looks like. So you can uh, quickly decide on whether if that's the one or not you're looking for. So, let's go ahead and uh, open this up. And this is where you can edit pictures. It's a very basic photo editing software. So, probably just like very basics. Down here, you do have gets, you have some tools here. This one is Mo Mosaic View for all the pictures. Here's a slideshow. This is one that's the edit. Here you can print. This is the edit. And that's the print, and that's of course to recycle it. And let's see, yeah, that's about it. So you can share these via Google Drive, you know, uh, Facebook, or what's the other one for Google Plus? That's it. So what you can do is when you have those opened up here, is when you go in there, you can basically just take these photos. And take all of them and drag them to your Google Drive. Now what that'll, that'll do is put them on your Google Drive, of course. Or you can put it on your Downloads folder here. And then you can just make, an, make a new folder called, uh, you know, My Pictures or what have you. So we'll just name it Pics for now. So this way, when you take your, folder, or your pictures from your SD card, and drag them into this folder pics that means it's going to be on your hard drive okay so the pictures are going to be on your hard drive and it's going to take up that 16 gig of space okay guys um that's it's basically it's just the exact same thing for usb drive okay i have a uh, usb drive here that i'll run through real quick See, now it's time for the USB drive. Let's 
the same thing really. So we're going to flip this guy around, come here in the back, and then what we're going to do is we're going to either use this port, which is USB 3.0, or this port, which is USB 2.0. Now, the USB 3.0, the blue one, it's going to be a lot faster than 2.0, but they're both backwards compatible. So I'm going to plug that in here. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> there we go. See how it lights up? Pretty colors, huh? So that's how you know it's working. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I had it open it up. Anyways. So once that is done, you're basically just going to do the same thing as you would with the uh, SD card. Now I, know, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but as soon as I logged in, there was a little pop-up over there. That's saying, hey, you know, we just found this. What do you want to do with it? So, there's the SD card. There's the SD card. Here's the USB drive. Click on USB drive, and there's all your files. Okay, so once again, it's basically the same thing, how you access it, how you save things, you know, etc. So, from there on, uh, that's basically it, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And I hope this really helped you guys out a lot. I'm going to be posting out a lot more videos of how to do certain basic things that people have kept asking me about. So be on the lookout for that. Speaking of being on the lookout for the videos I put out, uh, go and hit that subscribe button uh, down below. Or was it up at the top? Down below. Yeah, down below this video. That'll really help me out, guys. And uh, make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment down below if this video has helped you out at all. And check out my Facebook page. Also, like me on Google+. Plus. Okay, guys. Uh, it's one way to stay up to date on my latest videos I'm putting out. And to get in contact with me if, uh, you know, if you have any questions that I haven't answered yet. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Monty LSV6 out.